Oh yes, the end of the month, it's time to thank the patrons of Hey Buddy, Nice Podcast. Brogan, who would you like to thank first today? I would like to thank our good buddy, Mitsula. Mitzi! Thanks, Mitzi. Mitzi. Uh, do you know who I want to thank? Who do you want to thank? The one and only Mr. Jobeth Bowers, the judgmentalist. <laughs> Drop the V, it's just judgmentalist. Thank you, Jobeth. I would like to thank Cali Cheesebag. Oh, Cali Cheesebag, ghost cheesy, cheesy ghost. Love <laughs> you, bud. Uh, I'm going to go with a new one this month. We're going with Rebecca Boonstra, a.k.a. Ooh. The Dirty Scoop. Thank Thanks, you, Rebecca. Scoop. We I both spoke like at the same time. We did, we did. I would like to thank the man with possibly the best scoop name in the world, Sebastian Oof. Robbins. Oof, take that, That's, other it's scoops. A, it's a good fucking name. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Look, this one, this thanks comes with an apology because we forgot to use your cheese bag name last time and possibly the time before, and that would be Cheese Doodle Mifa. Thank you, Mifa. Thank you, Cheese Doodle Mifa. And you know who else we need to thank, Brogan? That's Smitty Scoop. Smitty! Smitty! Thanks, bud. Thank you. And finally, I would like to thank Tristan the Cheese Supreme Bag. Tristan the Cheese Supreme, thank you. Uh, Brogan, there's still one more person you have to thank, and that's after I've thanked them, and that is Coach Rat Bastard. Thank you, Coach Rat Bastard. Thanks, bud. If you want to be like these cool people that support us on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash nice pod bud and get your name read out by some, you know, kind of okay people. We're not as cool as you. People with silly little voices. Yeah! Anyway, on to the show. One, two, three, clap. That's a perfect unison with the clap. Hi, and welcome to Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. Over there in Scotland, taking it back. That is Brogan Hastings. Over there surprising me with my favourite theme tune, it's Giovanazzi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not not, not <laughs> our theme tune. Not the Murder Party Party podcast no. theme tune. Not even the Not So Good At This <laughs> podcast theme tune. You know what? You know what it was. I don't need to keep talking about it. Everybody knows what that theme tune was. And that was the... It should have been the Penn and Teller. I want. No, oh. we're not allowed to play that. Penn and Teller. Oh, I love that one too. Doing tricks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I always say an inappropriate rhyme to that line, though. <laughs> I will say, uh, you accidentally became a one name person there. I just. I didn't say Wayne Jovanazzi, I just said Jovanazzi. <laughs> like, oh, oh a, a surname person. <laughs> that's, sur- that's. Usually a one name person is not a surname. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it can be. Or it could be a shortened Taylor. surname. Yeah, yeah. That's understandable. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. All right. I rest my case. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just, you're sneaking a big... Go- is, it, is it actual sneak or is it your special... No, okay, cool. It's your special um, brain juice that makes you live. It kills the brain worms. Mm. Uh, for those who are probably wondering... If things are going to continue weird with Wayne this episode, yes. Yes, they are. It's one of those, Wayne is alone. Wayne is home alone, uh, has been left to his own devices for several days. So this is what we get. It's what you get. That's what you get, bitch. Uh, it's what you get for, I don't know the song. I'm, I'm thinking of a song. That's what you, you tell get me the lyrics. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Is it not Paramore? Yeah, Paramore. I played it today on Rock Band. What is what's what is that song called? I believe it's called um, that's the what Paramore you get. Explosion. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I think it might be, but I don't know. Oh wait, isn't there like a Katy Perry song as well? Like that's what? No, like no, I don't think so. I, I don't know the words for. I'm confusing everything. Is that not like? I don't want to commit to saying what I'm saying because I think it's wrong I'll and I'll look like a big idiot, shut you know. Up and put your money where your mouth yes. Is. That's what you get. That's what you for get. Waking, up, waking in up in Vegas. Yes, yes. I was right in my head. <laughs> Hooray! But now I look like a fool and like I was just like pretending that I knew. <laughs> There's no winning for me either no, way. No, it was. But it appears I, I genuinely, I, I was like, I know what song you mean, and I can't remember Good. what the lyrics are without singing it. <laughs> That's two. That's what you get songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you got correctly from what I was thinking. Here's another one. It's not a uh, that's what you get. This is a that's what I get. What's the context? I bet you don't know it. This is uh, 
that's you, you what gave, I get. You gave me clues last time being okay. uh, Katy Perry. Uh, no, you will ne- you'll never ever get it. And you're going to live like that, not knowing what it was. I'm sure So Okay, Paul would know. So it's probably Nine Inch Nails. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's good enough. That's close yeah. enough. Uh, everybody, a uh, big round of applause for Brogan Hastings. Good job. Uh, now, <laughs> my applause button is on a completely different screen. Uh, so I have to go in. Unless I... Do, do you think there's a possibility I mapped it to the Coffee Talk theme? Let's find out. No. It's time for Coffee Talk. Saving those turtles one straw at a time. Okay, I guess that means we have to go into Coffee Talk. <laughs> We've got no choice now. It has been said by the gods. It was written in stone. We must talk about Coffee Talk. Um, let's see. I got a new coffee. Have I already talked about my new coffee? I don't think so. Tell me about your new coffee. Just got like a cyberpunk looking design on the bag, Ooh. and that's the main reason why I bought it. I'll show you it later. It's over there. Yeah. Um, the last time you got coffee, it looked like the alien bag thing. Yeah, yeah. It's by the same people, oh. uh, the same company. So that's why it looks cool. See, it was a toss up between getting this cyberpunky looking one or one that looked like a playing card, like a it might have been a, a queen of hearts or Ooh. something. I can't remember. And um, I ended up getting this one. But um, like it says like it has the smell, aroma of jam. Like, okay, for, for starters, no, it doesn't. Mm. And jam is not just one aroma. Like no. you've got at least strawberry, raspberry. Some places have grape. Some places have apple. You got fruits of the forest. Yeah. You know, there's so many different jam flavors, scents. I don't know where they think they get off saying that. Mm. T- tastes okay though. That's well, that's the main thingy. Mm, yeah. But really, when you get flavored it, stuff like that, it it doesn't ever really impact the taste. It only ever impacts the smell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the aroma and the taste are very different, mm. always for yeah. me when it comes to coffee. That's why they give aroma notes, and I think that's only like of the beans before they have water passed through them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I smell different before I have water passed through me. So yeah, sure. And before Don't I'm ground up, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. So yeah, I never. It never smells like it tastes. Never tastes like it smells. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I did go and buy a coffee, an actual coffee, um, on the 26th, which was. Was that Friday? Yes. Yes. Wayne doesn't know days anymore. <laughs> um, Wayne also only refers to himself in the third person. Yeah. First person? First person. Yes. Um, yeah. Went to... Because the, the, the night before, big night, big night, um, <laughs> uh, woke up, uh, went to go... I was like, I, I, need, I need a coffee. Because usually that's going to be... Like, I've woken up. I've got a headache. Mm-hmm. It, it could have been like, you know... You know, reasons. And I was also sleeping on a couch as well. So there was no comfort factor whatsoever. I say sleeping like sleeping is used loosely. Dawson. Uh Yeah, yeah. So the first place we decided to go, uh, they were closed because it's Australia Day this day. Ah, right? you mentioned this last week. Yes. Yes, exactly. But we thought we'll drive past and then if they're closed, we'll just we'll Google map it. So we looked up a couple of places I've talked about this place before, but a different one of their locations, which is also a lie. Uh, not what I'm saying. The location is a lie because it's called Lot 60, whereas only the original location is on Lot 60. Any subsequent, subsequent locations, oh. unless it happens to fall on the same lot number, it's a lie in the yeah. name. Uh, so we went there uh, hoping to get food as well, mm-hmm. right? Like a smashed avo on toast or some stupid millennial bullshit that i'm meant to eat mm. uh as we're walking in uh there's someone out the front watering the, their, the plants and they say you're just here to get a pick up coffee and we're like we sure are <laughs> and uh, we walk in and there's a sign that says uh pick up coffees only closes midday it was 11 59 oh, <laughs> when Jesus. we walked in <laughs> we're like, oh my god we're so sorry we didn't know <laughs> give us coffee please <laughs> I'm not leaving. Like, like, I'm sorry, but I'm not leaving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we left. And then um, we didn't know what to eat. And then Sam said this place, I can't remember what it was called, Pink and Moon maybe in its name. I can't mm. remember. But it's like this little local restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. Used to be a fish and chip shop. 
So we go to this place, uh, which used to be a fish and chip shop, I've been informed. And you can see it, right? Mm. Just a small local fish and chip shop. Classic Australian dingy fish and chip shop. Mm -hmm. Aussies, you can probably picture what I'm saying. Maybe even people in the UK know what I'm talking about. I think fish, um, dingy fish and chip shops are the same everywhere. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, but this guy, I can't remember his name. I can't remember any facts about this place whatsoever. Uh, but he's done his best to make it like a restaurant, like a little restaurant, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And... um. Because it's Australia Day, they were open, and mm. I'm I'm ho I'm glad that we gave them business because I'm hoping that they had enough business to warrant being open on a public holiday for starters. Yeah, but what we got was because I don't eat much, so we just split it. Um, was a chicken parmigiana, right? Mm. So you know, a typical chicken parmigiana is your or chicken parmesan if you're American. Mm -hmm. It's that breaded, fried chicken breast mm -hmm. uh, with like a red sauce on it, melted cheese. Mm -hmm. Instead of red sauce, it was butter chicken sauce. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not against that. No. I, I, I like the sound of it and I like the taste of it even better. But the thing is, we weren't eating there. We took it home. Ah. And... Oh, I really want to remember his name, but he when we were standing out the front, just looking, he's like, "Hey guys, how you doing?" Blah blah blah, like talking to us. Mm -hmm. And um, because we were taking it away, he was like, "What I'll do is I'll have the sauce separate. Um, I won't melt the cheese or anything. I'll put the cheese in a separate thing for you as well." It's like it's like that's great. Aww. I want to go back there and yeah. support this place. Yeah, but it also reminded me of Bob's Burgers. Oh. Because this is a small little place, like family kind of run. Because his niece was like ser serving on tables and that. Mm -hmm. um, and they got like a couple little booths, a couple of tables. Uh, they also had Valentine's Day menus down mm -hmm. on the table for, for next month. Yeah. And I am just picturing like the Valentine's Day episode of Bob's Burgers where they transform the restaurant. Like yep. they're just going to the have like cardboard dividers in the booths. Yeah, yeah. In the booths. So uh, that was cool. I like that place. Mm -hmm. I, I will if I'm ever that way. I and I need something to eat. I might check them out. Yeah, it's always good to have that kind of thing on your your list of options. Yeah, yeah. and uh, like adequately priced, great food. Yeah, doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Yeah. It was like I don't know. There there was no hangover or anything at that time, but mm -hmm. it would have been good hangover food, I guess. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So that was. Uh, I, I forget what day it was, but anyway, we're jumping ahead in the week because, uh, Wednesday was the big important day this week. Oh. For you. Oh, for me, for me, yes. Oh, what, was it? I oh, didn't I, know that, oh wait. I thought, <laughs> I thought you were jumping about in your own timeline and I was like, no, what Wednesday else Wednesday was the big important day because Kez left me to fend for <laughs> myself. That genuinely, that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We um, can't just talk about Wayne. No, that's... Okay. Sorry, we just can't talk about Giovanazzi. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as I said last week, I had my gender thing appointment on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, how did it go? Did they, did they confirm that you do not have a gender? Yes. I've been diagnosed oh. as genderless. <laughs> 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 But it's diagnosed. You genuinely a have to term? Get, yes, you genuinely have to. Okay. Gender. So basically, this it's exactly what I thought it was, which is the psychological assessment part of it. Mm -hmm. But that sounds more yeah, clinical yeah. than it actually was. It was an hour and a half. I, yeah. I think I was in there over that. Oh wow. That. Yeah. Um. So we we're just talking about stuff, you know, like where it's like, you know, talk me through your childhood and what you were like in school and this kind of thing and asking questions about stuff. And basically, by the time they get to the end of it, the or no, at the very, very start of it, he was like, you know, what, what's your goal here? And I'm like, top surgery. Mm. Uh, I was like, maybe so, maybe hormone stuff. I was like, I would like my voice just a wee bit deeper. I think I don't know. I'm still mm. on that. Uh, but at the very least, definitely top surgery. He's like, oh, okay. He said most people come in here and they're like, definitely T. We can talk about anything else later. Yeah. Give me the wow. hormone. <laughs> Wow, that's that. But I, I wonder if a, a lot of people, it, it, they're not identifying as non-binary or they're probably not. I think they are trans. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? Uh, that, that's probably why he was a bit 
uh, a bit taken aback. Yeah, he does. He did ask at the the start. He's like, you know, do you have a particular thing that you're comfortable identifying as? And I did say non-binary. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Um, but we're talking about that, and it's funny some of the things that you say without thinking about it. Like, mm. for example, so maybe in like 2011, and maybe in a couple of times since then. Uh, there, there was a period of time, anyway, where I kind of went through very performative femininity, and as in, you know, oh, trying okay. the full makeup, dresses, yeah, yeah, push up bra, even, uh, mm. and it was like, that's that's funny you use that word performative, and I was like, yeah, it's that's because what it felt like, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, well, might as well try. That sucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was a pain in the arse. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I think that is great language to use, mm-hmm. uh, especially like if you're at a at the psych assessment, because it it really paints the real picture. I think. Yeah. 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 So so there's stuff like that, and uh, so yeah. So basically, how this works is you have to get officially diagnosed with, and I, be- mm-hmm. I could be wrong. It's gender incongruent with adult. Uh, okay, I understand most of those words. Yes. Basically, you're diagnosed as not being the gender you were assigned, not fully identifying with the yeah. gender you were assigned at birth. Okay, right. Uh, as an adult. As an adult, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you get that official diagnosis, they then go to the Scottish government and request funding to mm-hmm. fund whatever yeah. you, you need yeah. Specific. I think I don't think so much for hormones, but certainly for surgery. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's funding to to send me down to England <laughs> to get it done. Oh wow! Because nowhere in Scotland does in- it. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But this could be like another two years down the line because there are like so oh, yeah. many steps y- in oh, between yeah. now it's and then. Any public health, most public health, yeah. I should say. Yeah. But one of the things that he talked about, and he mentioned this twice, I have still mm-hmm. like. It still weirds me out, but he specifically said, uh, "Oh yeah, because you need you need to have a conversation with with one of the the surgeons about you know choosing your nipples." And I was like, "What? No, oh. I'm like, this is this is character creation, exactly. Shit. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Can you get asymmetrical unmatching ones? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is weird. I'm like." I don't even know if I want them. This is just weird. yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah. So, See, I've thought about that. Like, if I had some surgery mm-hmm. for like my post weight loss, mm-hmm. there is like I could just have no belly button, and that is almost appealing. Yeah, because the belly button is a weird thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and nipples aren't. <laughs> well, they are. So yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. So so that was a bit. That was a bit weird. Oh my god. You could do the same as this. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, well, any belly button, right? Uh uh-huh. I could like change it to an outy belly button. I wonder if you could go to any nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly I think I think I would probably go for none at all because I remember yeah. reading a story years ago and I don't know if it was fake or real, where somebody had some kind of surgery and I don't know if it was I have a funny feeling it was for it was reconstructive surgery after mm-hmm. vasectomy for breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they had to get the and the you know their they had to get their nipples repositioned. Uh, yeah, and one of them fell off. Hmm. That mm-hmm. that sounds necrosis of the nipple. Yep. Hmm. And that I was sounds like, like uh, the surgeon. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder if they would like their first thought is just to reuse the existing. Or if they make a new one, or there is tattoo options as well. Yeah, yeah. Probably, I would imagine they would try and use your original one, mm. and just. But it depends how the skin around it works. Yes, yeah, that's right. They might accidentally drop it on the ground or something, and they can't reuse it. So you know how like must have been the nineties when they were like growing ears on the back of rats and shit. I mean. They would have to have a nipple rat just sitting there waiting just in case. Yeah. I mean, by your implication, they take the, they take the section of skin with the nipple right off. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, I'm imagining like a flap. Yeah. 
Well, no, I'm thinking like breast augmentation surgery. They, I think they would used to take off the nipple. They probably might have do. To. I've seen botched and stuff too many times. Yeah. To see that nipples have been completely removed and it's like, I, 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 I'm not choosing to watch this. This is what's on the TV while I'm in the fucking room. Mm-hmm. And it's like, please, can we watch like some, like, I don't know, put fullers on, please, anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. So, so yeah, it's very strange to talk about something like this. After having yeah. spoke about it for so long and thought about it for so long mm. uh, yeah. and that it's a reality. But um, so he talked me through the surgery stuff and he also mentioned, he's like, I'll go through the, the hormone stuff just in case. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I have the consent form here that he talked me through. He's like, I've got another appointment in eight weeks uh, mm-hmm. to to talk about it again. But essentially they can start me on that within a couple of months. Yeah. But... I mean, there are some, I mean, some of this stuff is, like, they've got two big tables here, which you probably can't see. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is potential. It was, a, it was a fair bit of writing. Yeah. yeah. One is potential benefits, and the other is potential risks slash side effects. Anything marked with a star is irreversible. <laughs> <gasps> dun dun. Uh, if we drop your nipple on the ground, it will forever <laughs> be ground tainted. Yeah, pretty much. Um... But like one of the stuff is male pattern hair loss or balding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's reversible. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, even with a toupee, it's it's reversible. It's disguisable. I, yeah, that, I think that's the thing. It's like it's manageable. There you go. That's yes. the word I want. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff on here. Deepening of the voice, uh, change in distribution of body fat, and increased muscle mass. Mm. So all the fat could go to your pinky toes. And you have to do, lift do weights men, with your pinky do, toe. Do men keep fat in their pinky toes? I mean, I'm looking at my pinky toe and it looks, I don't know, it looks fatter than it should. They both look fatter than they should. <laughs> Honestly, they do. Are you just Hang obsessing on. about this now? No, no, this is not the first time I've thought this. <laughs> <laughs> it re- yeah. I would send you photos of my feet, but you're not sending me money. No. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're more offended by, sending me money or <laughs> me sending the photos. No, I'm just disappointed that you're not sending it to me so I can sell them myself. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff on there <laughs> that's like... Want to see my weird-ass feet? Uh, I mean, they're not that weird. God. Don't talk yourself down, Jovanazzi. Fuck. <laughs> oh, here's another thing he actually mentioned. Um... Reduction in ovulation with likely loss of fertility. Long-term effects of testosterone in ovaries slash eggs unknown. So they were like... And were you just like, uh, oh no. Oh well, no. he did talk about this. It was like, you know, what's, what's your thoughts on having kids? Mm. And I was like, my, my only line is I don't want to get pregnant and I don't want to give birth. Yep, yep, yep. Which is completely different from having kids having biological kids. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So you can still have biological kids and not birth them. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So I was like, so he's like, what what we usually do in these uh, instances before somebody starts hormone treatment is we, and, and, and like in a minute, he's like, he's like, I'm sorry, this is such a horrible word. We harvest the eggs, yes. and I'm like, it's horrendous. I knew that was it. And we, I knew I said that was that the time. word. I was like, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, they take sample and they freeze it. You know. So- I mean that the doctor. I can just picture him wearing like a straw hat, pickaxe over his shoulder. But that's the Time thing. to I'm go like, harvest me eggs. I'm like, how does that even work? I don't know. I don't know. No. I don't know how I feel about it, that. It, there's things going like. I mean, I would imagine they would have there's, to there's knock gotta be me little out grippy. for it. Oh, yeah. No, no. You're awake the whole time, so you can tell them where. <laughs> no, no. Take a left at that uh, fallopian <laughs> tube. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, you know, you're you're awake for for other horrendously uncomfortable things yeah yeah you know yeah i don't know i i guess yeah mm, your your know. cervical test for cancer that you have yeah. to get done every couple of years you have to be awake for that that any gynecological thing you have to be awake for as yeah. well <laughs> yeah so so yeah there's there's that so i don't know yeah. I, like i'm not opposed to the the stuff to do with it i just don't know i think one of the questions I've probably got for him is, is it a case of I start taking this and when I'm happy with how deep my voice is, I stop? 
and it just hmm. stops at that point or does it keep going down? I don't know. I, I'm not a doctor. But my assumption is, I mean, m- no, may- maybe, maybe it like can kickstart your body into producing that testosterone then, I mm-hmm. guess, maybe. Yeah. Yep. No idea. I don't know. So, that, so that's kind of one of the things I want to talk to him about. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Mum says she, How she, much? She, Mom says she, she likes my voice as it is, but she's also biased. But she's like, you're very yeah. easy listening. And I was like, don't you flatter me like Matt Donnelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's like your vo- your voice is it's just broken. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's what it. Yeah, that's that's how. Yeah, like I say, it's not one of the things that I'm like. You know, I need to do this. It, it was more just a a passing thought. It was like, well, while I'm here anyway, I might as well ask about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, how much um research have you done yourself? Like prior to this. Bearing in mind, it's been such a long process. So I did a lot yeah. of research at the start. Yeah, but yeah. But the start was like three years ago. Okay. So yeah. it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Because I, I was going to say, um, it was in a scoop mail, I think, that you said that it was like kind of recently that you'd been uh, feeling like this. And I guess that would have been like three years ago. Scoop mail. I think it was a scoop when um they were referring it was like oh we got another uh animatic by Brogan oh he's so good oh, he yeah. is so good and then you responded to that I don't remember the exact details I don't think but, I actually said like, date or time like I don't think I I said you know well no if you just now you've said three years ago you were doing research yeah if, and if that was the start and I'm guessing around then was probably close to three years ago yeah that's true that's true yeah so I'm thinking it's like yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. I was just trying to think of specifically when I wrote into the boys specifically to talk about that, but I think if I remember right, it was part of another scoop mail and it was just at the bottom at the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was just an. Uh, uh, oh, P.S. P- yes, guys. Yeah. Um, so, do you think uh, that uh, Matt. Well, no, specifically. Oh, yeah, Matt, Paul, and Jacob mm-hmm. referring you to as male may have like helped contribute at all uh, I... now when i say that i'm talking about anyone really in in, in general if I... that like the story of the the kid last week yeah i don't know yeah. because i think because that's i've got a kind of gender neutral name you know mm, yeah. like it's it's marked as a boy's name online but also i've only oh. ever met girls who are broken which is a bit Can... I have to tell you now, Brogan is not a name that is really outside of probably even Scotland, it's, let it's alone a Celtic the UK. Name. It's a Celtic yeah, name. Yeah, there so you it's, go. Uh, it's, it's not. Yeah. Scot- Scotland and Ireland are the two places. I, because it starts with bro. Yeah. Uh, people are probably outside of those places assuming male. Yeah. So there's that. So I've had, uh, like, I've had packages, I've had letters before where it's been addressed to Mr. Mm. Brogan Hastings. And I yep. mean for years. And I always thought this was funny. I always quite enjoyed it. And mm. it took me years before I realised... And I, I, when I say years, I mean it was maybe like 2019 before I yeah. realised that people don't generally like that. No. Being misgendered, yeah. <laughs> on, being <laughs> misgendered on their mail. I was like, oh shit. I feel like I would be indifferent. Like, I'd be like, it's... it's yeah. Like, you, okay. yeah. Yeah. But there are definitely some people that could lose their shit. Especially like uh, certain generations above. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. It didn't happen a whole lot, but mm-hmm. but although having said that, I've been confused for my mum before. So that's like another thing. And I mean, like over the phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that uh, <laughs> that um, voice memo that you sent with your oh, mum yeah, about yeah, the yeah. Christmas crackers. Yeah, that was. There was similarity there. Similarity at first. Well, but once you, once you realise, you identify the difference. But the, you know, and that's you, who's never met my mum. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm talking and... about when I was younger and uh, my uncle, oh, wow, as okay. in my, my mum's brother, <laughs> phoned the house <laughs> and forgot to check who it was he was talking to. Yeah. And ended up thinking I was my mum and telling me what he got me for Christmas. 
Oh, no. <laughs> so at least it wasn't like, that fucking kid of yours, Brogan, cause I fucking can't stand your child. Oh, Gra- Graham's probably closer to English than anything else. Graham lived a long time in England. Oh, okay. My bad. Hoity toity. Yeah. I, that, that child of yours, yeah. that Brogan. Yeah. That's that, yep. yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, there we go. I, I do love Uncle Graham. Um, Does Uncle Graham listen? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Graham. <laughs> but, but yeah, like, and I felt so guilty, and I, like to the point that, I, like, because he was like, "Oh yeah. yeah, I got Brogan those uh, those headphone things that she wanted for Christmas," and I went, "Okay, <laughs> good, <laughs> thanks, uh, bye," and then hung up mm-hmm. and then sobbed, Stratty. phoned my mum and sobbed, and oh, was like, I, "I, I, don't know what to do about this," and my mum thought this was mm-hmm. fucking hilarious. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then I seen Graham on Christmas Day, and my mum had obviously told him by that point. He went, "You're an idiot," and I went, "Uh huh." Yeah. <laughs> all right, you're getting me a little self conscious now with <laughs> all this voice talk. Yes. Because I'm at a point like e- everyone, they will record themselves, listen back, never sounds the sound the same that sounds the same because you know you don't have the cushioning of your brain and your head and your skull or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Right. I've listened to myself talk so much now yeah. that. I just sound the same no matter what, mm-hmm. right? And same with you. You sound... I mean, other people always... It's like, no, no, that is how you sound. So, I don't know where my voice lies in pitch. Hmm. I don't know if it's higher. I don't know if it's regular. I mean, it's certainly not Shannon deep. No, I mean, Shannon's on a whole different level. Mm. Uh... So I've got no idea. Yeah. Like, there, there's times when I will, like, purposely talk like this as opposed to just talking normally yeah i'd say you're probably on the lower end of the scale pitch wise okay so that's surprising to me yeah i mean i like like you say in in my head my voice sounds so much deeper in my head though than Mm. when i hear it and i'm like like genuinely i'm always taken aback when i hear my own voice and i'm like what (sighs) brogan's internal monologue so today i've got to go into the office Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, we, we got to we have we have to get Shannon on so you can listen back to the episode and just say, "Oh my gosh, how fucking deep is Shannon's voice in his own head?" Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Because I'm not even exaggerating when I do this. I can't even make my voice go lower to <laughs> be what it's at. <laughs> See, it just you, you can't no mm-hmm. i can't even imagine <laughs> what he might not even have an internal monologue it just might just like low it's so like like there are certain pitches that we can't hear above that yeah, his, yeah his monologue is a pitch that only he can hear because it's so low <laughs> yeah, there are some deep sea creatures only they can hear what he is thinking yeah because they pick up that register mm-hmm. yeah yeah so eight weeks for another appointment. Is that just more psychologically use or is it that's when you obviously if you've got more. I mean, because I don't know. I don't I don't know the process. I don't know the steps. It's a lot of information to take in in an hour and a half. Uh, mm. And I think they kind of get that. So they're like, yeah. you know, OK, we've told you things, you know, come back with questions. <laughs> If you've got yeah, I think I think that's the idea then it's to give you time to not mull it over but to consider everything that has been discussed yeah I mean I told him I wanted mm. to like he's put me on the waiting list for the surgery stuff now yeah because I was yeah, like that's yeah. that's a definite um but yeah I don't know if he'll talk more about that on the next appointment or yeah Yep, you could have just kept on using verbal fillers then when I die. I know. <laughs> well, I die. I was choking to death. I mean, I was trying to, drink. and I was like, "Yeah." The minute is that it's yep. one of these things. The minute you try to, uh, yeah, you forget. No, how no, to just talk. go with like if it, if it looks like I'm choking to death, just go with that. So yeah, hmm, mm-hmm, hmm, yeah, hmm, like those verbal <laughs> fillers, just because you can see me dying. Yeah, uh, but then again, we can always if you stay silent. It can just be automatically cut out. So let's go with that option instead. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah, any any other big important bits of information so far, or is it all just um? That does it feel like a lot to take in? Yes. Because it it is. Yeah. 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 It's uh, because he asked us about it's like you know were you worried about coming here? And mm. I was like, 
Yes, but only in the sense that I've never been here before. Yeah. And... I don't know what parking is like. Pretty much. Pretty much. Mum yeah. dropped me off, thankfully. <laughs> uh, you know, so there's so there's that. There's n- not knowing what to expect. Yeah. And he's like, because a lot of people come in here and feel... Uh, what, how did he say it? Like, to, for lack of a better word, justify their own queerness. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was like, well, it's funny you say that, because I was, the night before, I was, like, going through my head. I was like, okay, and if they do need a witness as to <laughs> I've been going, I've been referring to myself as non-binary for a certain amount of time, who could I do? It's like, maybe Matt. Matt's famous enough that you can Google him and, you know, it's not weird enough to ask. Brogan, Brogan, all uh-huh. you have to say is hundreds and hundreds of hours banked of you talking. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, at nice w- pod bud on all social media. I was thinking like a written statement. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know, yeah. I was thinking they need a written statement kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. For the record, I have known you personally longer than Matt Donnelly. I don't think you have. In person. In person, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've I have known and spoken to Matt longer than I've known exactly. and spoken to you. Prob- probably, probably. Yeah. I imagine so. Yeah. 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 Even, it, yeah, because even though you're writing and they're talking about, yeah, you've got scoop mails to prove. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that well, works. Not only that, uh, I'm pretty sure when I went on Instagram Live with Matt for the first time, Matt met me as a person. Yes, It was before yes. we started talking. Oh, probably. Yeah. I, I would think so. I would hope so. I mean, I spoke to Matt before I spoke to you. Yeah. I think everyone should speak to Matt Donnelly before they speak to anybody else. <laughs> anybody else. Matt Donnelly is the best. So, That's like, all. when when you're when you're a baby, and like, come on, say mama, mama, say papa. Every baby's first word should be Maddie D. Sweet and Maddie then D, it's yeah. not even it's not saying it to the parents because the baby has to speak to Sweet Maddie D before it can speak to the parents. Mm-hmm. So it's just making a statement that Matthew Donnelly needs to be gotten in contact with for the baby to speak to before it can speak to anyone else. That's why you've got these mute children sometimes that don't say a word. They have not had the opportunity to speak to Matt Donnelly. So they will stay mute until they can. You done? Yep. I'm done. (laughs) You went off on a little tangent there, didn't you? Yeah, but for once it wasn't a what is angering Wayne or whatever it is. No, that's true. That's oh, true. I just we, could, we could never be angered by Matt Donnelly. Hmm. Have Is we that been, true? Have we been angered by Matt Donnelly? I don't I believe d- so. I don't know. I'm just, look. I'm sure. No, no. It's all in our head. It's in our head. Ang- like m- not necessarily anger. It's like why is Matt Donnelly angry at me? Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. That we've yeah. Yeah, yeah. we dealt with that. Of course. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. But then the, I, I think I get over with that. I'm, I don't think that will happen again. I hope that won't happen again. Because watching The Bucket Show, because this is the second time that I've ever watched these episodes. Because I watched them when they came out and watched them again for the second time mm-hmm. years later. Uh, first time I was watching, man, these guys are cool. I'm going to meet them later this year, next year. Mm-hmm. And now I'm watching, it's like, oh, yeah, there's my buddy Paul and Matt. Oh, look, there's my mate Jacob up there. <laughs> my pal Spadoni. <laughs> my... <laughs> Casual acquaintance, Brent Mackay. <laughs> it is strange sometimes to, to think that mm. we're friends with these people. Yeah. They're yeah. stupidly, incredibly talented people. Wouldn't go that far. They're just people. <laughs> they, you're telling me they're not stupidly, incredibly talented? You're I mean, not, not telling me that Paul incredibly. Mattingly almost killed me twice last night because I was laughing so hard I can breathe? Did, did he... <laughs> yeah, uh, Chris did say uh, that his gut still hurt from laughing. Mine too! Uh, when I was... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... I'm not look, whatever. I'm not going to push it. Uh, maybe it's coming from a place of jealousy. That um, <laughs> who scoops gets the guests. Whatever. I don't... Whatever. <laughs> don't care. Don't care. How many times oh, yeah, do we sorry. reach out to people, though? Oh, exactly. We, yeah. we actually uh, we do need, need to sort that out. Yeah, we need to clear some stuff up uh, as to last week why, why there was only one episode. Yeah. Uh, it's because we, we did record two, technically, kind of technically. Mm. But the first one, uh, we were wait, our, We had a guest lined up uh, and there was mix up with time zones and things and the guest didn't show up and it, it would have been a 2 a.m. recording for them. Yes. Uh so uh, completely understandable why. Yeah, we're all <laughs> why, good. I guess. We're all oh, good. Oh yeah, there's no no issue whatsoever. The issue was that uh, 
we just kept on recording. We, we, we just kept recording. We didn't assuming know. it was going to be bonus content. We didn't yeah. know if we should cut it off. At what point we should cut it off. So yeah. there, there was a lot of time that was just us talking. Yes. Uh, and like We went on Instagram Live yeah. even. And we were on Instagram and recording on this at the same time. And it ended up being a full fucking episode worth of us talking. Mm-hmm. So that has been released as a bonus episode on our Patreon. Yes. Um. So if you if you want to hear us if you want to look it it it's it's more casual it's more like it's, it's even bit, more casual than us talking right now yeah it's a little bit too weird for it to be an actual episode yeah 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 I think we were both like I don't hate it but that that was literally both our reactions was yeah I don't hate it mm. uh, yeah and I but I was like I don't like it as an episode yeah. Yeah, because there was so much of it. It was right up until we went on Instagram Live, Mm -hmm. where it was just us talking like it was not for episode, like it's sure it's being recorded, but that's because some of it might be bonus content. Yeah. And then it sort of hits into that normal where we we change a little bit Mm -hmm. for for a recording. So, and and even then, that wasn't a huge amount of the, (laughs) the fucking bonus episode anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, that's why there was one episode last week and the murder party party podcast guys, they hadn't edited their, um, episode. So mm-hmm. we said, look, if you can get an episode, we'll host it. We'll host it this week. Yeah. And they're like, nah, it's about being, being too busy. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so yeah, you've got that, that you can go to along with a whole back catalog of bonus content, uh, just patreon.com forward slash nice pod bud. We'll mention that again at the end of the show. So mm-hmm. just so you don't forget, so you don't forget, <sighs> but yeah, I tell you Australia day. Kick my dick, my, kick my dick, kick my plans in the dick a you, little bit. Something you're Australia Day's cursed for you though, isn't it? Oh, not not cursed. I hate going out on Australia. I hate leaving the house. Mm-hmm. And I totally, I totally forgotten that I was going to be out on like Australia Day Eve on the twenty mm-hmm. fifth. Yeah, meaning I won't be home for the twenty sixth. Yeah, and I sort of like woke up on this couch realizing, oh shit. <laughs> This I need to go right. home now. I need to go home now. <laughs> well, no, what watch some stuff. Got coffee. I can't remember if we talked about yeah, yeah, we talked about coffee talk here. Uh got coffee, had some lunch. Then then I think it was like two, three o'clock, something like that. I went and ended up going home. But yeah. When I was definitely feeling like I was certainly capable of driving. <laughs> yes. Oh. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Mm-hmm. Drinkies, <laughs> etc. Drinkies and friends. Yeah. I uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. I don't drink. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You also don't and friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. Uh but it was an adventure. There was definitely like the thing was we left it too late. So I I, I got got to Sam's place, then we went and bought we bought a bottle of vodka, this fancy bottle of vodka. Mm. I'll have to get a photo of the cork because it's called Rusty Barrel. Mm. And the cork is this heavy. It's got a good pump to it. It's got a great pump when you pull it out. Mm. But it's a skull Ooh. and it's Jonesy's skull because it's got ram horns engraved on the sides of it. Nice. It is so good. I like it so much. Yeah. And it's so hefty. Like you could throw it at someone's mouth and like knock teeth out. That's yeah. what we want. Concussion fodder concussion corks yeah so yeah we started off with a bit of that a bit a bit, bit, couple of drinks before heading out to meet up with a I, now they're an acquaintance of mine because i have not seen them in years mm-hmm. this is my original jimothy not the king lord mr dr jimothy you know my uncle joe Ptolemy, esquire the second yeah yeah there, there's also uncle and lord king Professor. bowser and stuff yeah yeah there's a lot in there so this is my original jimothy mm-hmm. um this is the first person i referred to as jimothy uh so i hadn't seen him in a while and i i i i'm already a little bit inebriated and it's like i'm gonna stop drinking now because i want to be able to talk to him now I could have been like completely shit faced for lack mm-hmm. of a better term, and so I could have been slurring my word like this is a hajim, because Jim has not seen me post surgery. Oh, so no matter what, it was a head fuck for him. He had no. Did he know who you were? He. Oh yeah, yeah. He he knew who I was because he knew that we were all meeting up. Mm-hmm. So. And Sam said at the time, it's like, I've had time to acclimatize, so this must be fucking weird for you, Jim. <laughs> and it's like, yes, it's I, strange. 
so, so we we go up to Jim's place just to like pop in and say hi to his uh girlfriend partner mm. uh jim is a little bit older than us uh, mm-hmm. jim is 41 i want to say mm-hmm. uh now so he's very comfortable in his life which is good that's what you want right yeah. as an old man i'm saying this because i'm hoping he's listening <laughs> Uh, but, um, Jim, he, we've started, we've sat down, we're talking and it's like, do you want a drink? I can show you the cupboard, cupboard of happiness. And he opens up this cupboard and it's like bottles of everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, <laughs> I, I've decided I want to like try and like, you know, have a conversation, you yeah. know, I, I, I don't want to be like too inebriated, like first time talking to you. And he's like, you sure? You sure? You sure? You sure? So it basically peer pressures me into having another drink, mm-hmm. um, before I'm ready. And, uh, he's like... Jack Daniels or something. And I see him pour his own. Uh. He puts a little bit of water, ice cubes, big pour, top it off with Pepsi Max. Mm. He's like, how much do you want? I'm like, just a standard drink. He's like, a standard gym drink? No, no, like, you know, a standard shot, a standard drink. And he's looking at me funny. It's like like a finger, a finger of whiskey. Mm. And I hold up my finger as you do, yeah. which isn't really a thing. Uh, if you say to a bartender, give me three fingers of whiskey, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> So I like you know the de- the depth of a finger is like oh okay so he puts a little bit of water in gets goes to get me ice he had one cube left little mm-hmm. tiny cube drops it on the ground <laughs> washes it off puts it in my I told him to wash it off and put okay. it in my cup and then he goes to pour the finger of whiskey I tell you this motherfucker fast I fingers. think he poured it vertically rather than horizontally <laughs> I was like oh god and like his partner Siobhan wasn't coming out with us just wanted to go to bed. Just wanted us gone out of there. Like, Sam, talking to Sam. I, mm. I, I, I hear this all secondhand. Saying, like, Sean just wants to go to bed. But also didn't want to tell us to go because, like, Jim was having such a good time, which was good. Mm. Which makes me feel good. Yeah. Like, I haven't seen this guy in years and is just enjoying my company at least. Mm. So, yeah. <sighs> the one thing we wanted to do was go to a place called Palace Arcade and play Point Blank and eat pizza. We ate pizza, but the blue gun on the Point Blank machine didn't work. <sighs> It was so sad. Gutting. Yeah. Yep. So we went to the next place, which was where the David Bowie bar is. Oh, uh, you've mentioned Major Tom's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was downstairs. They got some arcade games. We found Point Blank and it worked. It was Point Blank 2. Now, uh, I'm versing Sam in this mm-hmm. and I never win. As much as I love Point Blank, just like the skill level is higher than me. Yeah. I was actually fucking winning. I got so excited. I went to be like, in your face. I yanked the whole machine <gasps> out of the wall. <laughs> I, the, I yanked the power cable out of the wall. You're an idiot. I am. We know this. But it's like, Fuck all sake, of a sudden, like, we can't take we you gotta anywhere. get the fuck out of here. No, no one can take me anywhere. No, definitely not. <sighs> but then Jim, Jim had to go home and, um, oh, shit. I've just outed them. Okay, no, this is fine. One day someone will find this and realize, because Sam has a plan for an Instagram account, right? Mm. They have this little ducky that you squeeze it and it lights up, or you poke it on its head and it light, lights up, or you blow in its butt and it lights up, mm. taking photos of it just in random places. Yeah. And that's all the Instagram account is. Mm. That's what they want to do. Mm-hmm. But like a Banksy kind of thing, so no one knows who has this account. Yeah. So this is going to be used as evidence one day. Mm-hmm. This podcast episode that some people listen to. Uh, so where well, Jim, the first photo of the duck is uh, Jim laying on the ground in a in the parking structure of his building, mm-hmm. as if he's dead, with the duck sitting on top of him, as if the duck has either killed him or maybe come across his body. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other photos, they're like duck in bushes, duck on a letterbox, duck under like one of those roadside witches mm-hmm. hat cone things. So I I didn't realize that we were basically walking all the way back home at this stage. Yeah. I I no idea where we are until a little bit of recognition. Oh, I I, re- I recognize that church and things like that. Mm-hmm. But we at one point we were walking through a park, and um there was like a I want to say toilet block mm-hmm. off to the side, and we're gonna we 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 were walking towards it to place the duck in a position. All of a sudden you hear these two people just fucking going at it. And I don't mean like fisty cuffs going at it. I the mean other kind. Going at it. Yeah. Yeah. As like, okay, let's uh, walk away from that building. It's like this isn't even in the city anymore. Yikes. This is like this is like neighborhood 
Park, people. What are you doing? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, it was dark, thankfully, mm-hmm. for everyone involved. Yep. <laughs> yep. But then we put a duck on a wall and took a photo of it. Yep. Yep. That, that's, 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 I think that's all I can talk about in the night. Other things. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. Looks like you're frozen. <laughs> I'm just doing the verbal fillers now until you talk. <laughs> I should have remained silent so I could just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> when was when was the last time you think you went out on like a a big night out? Because obviously you don't drink and you don't like it. Was was it, that was the last time when you were like, no, nah, never again? Probably. Uh, well, even that wasn't a huge big night out thing. Yeah. Because that was uh, that was a work drinks gone wrong. Mm. Yeah. Um. I mean, if we're not counting any sort of Vegas stuff. Uh, I, I'm talking about specifically with drinking, like for specifically with drinking. altered state. Yeah, yeah. Early 2018. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, well, maybe maybe about June, maybe about June, July 2018. Because mm. I tell you, every time I go out, I I'm like for a day, maybe two. Like I'm happy if that's like the last time ever. I'm happy to never do anything like this again. I never really got hungover. It's not even about the hangovers. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I get a headache, I sleep through it, and I'm fine. Mm. It's just like, I don't know, like, nah, nah. Not, what? But then, like, two days later, I'm like, oh, yeah, Shannon wanted to catch up. Should probably go out drinking or something. Yeah, it, it was never, <laughs> for me, it was it was a big thing at the place I worked at at the time. Mm, yeah. You know, like, uh, after work drinks, usually on a Friday. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's about the only time. It's not. Yeah. Even when I was younger, it was never something. I, it was never something I did. It was really only at that job. Yeah, I think it's annoying now to me that it's become. Well, it's like when, like when me and Shannon first met, mm-hmm. uh, we were both seventeen, so yeah. couldn't buy alcohol. That's n- not what our catch ups were about. Mm-hmm. Whereas now it seems to be, oh, if we're going to catch up, we're going to go and have some drinks as well. Yeah. It's like, it's, I, I, yeah, it's, I, it's annoying, I think, mm-hmm. um, more than anything. Whereas, like, that doesn't necessarily have to be the way it is. But what else are we going to do? Yeah. I don't know. Eat pizza and play point blank. <gasps> oh, I want to eat pizza. Yeah, but then the, 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 the alcohol is right there. It's the problem. Choose something else. Well, the, <laughs> the, yeah, okay. The, like, other substances? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, there's, there's, as someone who quite happily goes into a place that serves alcohol yeah. and picks the Pepsi I, Max. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I I th- think that is probably the most comfortable I've been in a pub or bar is uh, like Scoop Fest 2022, when we were the only sober people there pretty much. Yeah. That's the most comfortable I've been not drinking. Mm. So, yeah, you can be my not drinking buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But know. maybe it's this all... time we, we leave McMullen's a bit earlier because I felt very responsible for everybody involved. <laughs> and even getting back and oh did you feel responsible for Mike Ellsworth as well? I did feel, well, <laughs> I, I knew that Lottie wouldn't be far behind, so I didn't feel that yeah. bad. But yeah. but particularly uh, oh yeah 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 certain people yeah. who were definitely not there when we were escorting them back to where they needed to be. Do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's a, that's it's, an upset. It's a happy memory, but also holy oh, shit, yeah. it was stressful. Yeah, but the thing is, everyone else involved, they're fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the stress was us. For yeah, us. yeah, everyone, <laughs> no, it'd be fine. Uh, mm. You got anything else you want to talk about this episode, or or we can we can start to wrap it up. I can't think of anything else. We've got the big stuff. Yeah, we? I mean, I've got a, I've got a list of, with some things on it, but if we're doing a second episode, yeah, may as well save them. Okay, because suck at murder party party podcast. See how I looked over to the side? Then it's if they're over there. <laughs> <laughs> suck at murder party party podcast. No episode for you this week. Uh, right. So how do we end this thing again? What do we do? Um, oh yeah, that's right. We say, um, thank you for listening, cheese bags. Uh, we really appreciate you supporting the show by listening every week, week in, week out, multiple times a week, most weeks. Uh, that, that is the best way to support Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. Another great way to support it is interacting with us on social media. Uh... 
even if it's not on our post, just tagging us, saying, hey, like, which happens. It's been happening. People will tag us, like, oh, nice pod, bud, or even me and you individually. That's mm-hmm. great. Helps us keep the conversation going. Uh, but if you really, really want to help support us, you can go to patreon.com forward slash nice pod, bud. And uh, yeah, a couple of bucks, a few bucks, so you, you get bonus stuff or even more. You get, you get oh, that's what we got to do, Brogan. That's why we have to do another episode because we have to read out names. Yes. Because uh, it's the end of the month. Uh, but there's also, we'll send you stuff. I, I, I'm about to send stuff out now. And there's there's some cool stuff in this one, I reckon. I reckon, yep, it's, it's a bigger envelope this week, this this month. It's not like last couple, it's been like a regular size letter. This is like a, yeah, bigger, bigger A4 size. So, yeah. Um, but you can also uh, talk to us uh, by emailing admin at nicepodbud.com. We want your art crimes because I, I, I want to talk about art crimes. I was watching a Twitch stream today and I wanted to say, dear artist, can I talk about your artwork? And we, we call it art crimes, but it's only a good thing. It's a good thing, I promise, but I couldn't do it. So it, was, it was too awkward. So <laughs> I, we need your art crimes. Send them to us. I don't want to go and take art crimes. I want to be given art crimes yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Um, but you can also reach out on social media at NicePodBud. Uh, you can also reach out on social media to Brogan Hastings at 7 billion needles. That's the numeral seven, the words billion and needles. And you can reach out to Wayne at Wayne Geo. And that, that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At the moment, that's probably not a lie. I, with that, yep, yep. You know what? Get a job, it took you a- bum! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, gonna, I was about to say, Brogan, you know what? I think maybe 15, 20 minutes into the show, I was starting to feel a bit normal. <laughs> now, now you're just going to bring back the crazy for next episode. That's on you. We're doing name readings and then we're passing it over to Murder Party Party Podcast. <laughs> oh, you don't want to risk it. Okay. Well, there's still another week of crazy. Bebe. Uh, anyway, thanks for stopping in and having a listen. As always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Mm.